All right, here we go. This is the start of RPI 2018. Yay! So me and my dad decided to go to Rebecca's private Idaho in Ketchum, Idaho, home of seven-time mountain biking world champion Rebecca Rush. Everything was going really good until the airport on Thursday. I uh, kind of tripped, but I didn't fall. Because I caught myself, I think my arm just ended up going in a really awful direction. So we get to pre-ride this morning, and her arm's kind of hurting a little bit more. <laughs> Gonna check it all out and see if we can get her arm fixed up to see if she can make it through the race tomorrow. So while I was getting my arm checked out by the medics, I met the seven-time world champion Megan Fisher for Paralympic cycling. That was really cool. All right, I guess you're officially in the supper club now, right? Yeah. So So this was actually our second time coming to Rebecca's Private Idaho. Uh, The first time we did it, uh, the previous year, we did it on a tandem, and we did the full 100-mile ride. I asked Katie if she wanted to do it again the following year. She decided she only wanted to do the 50, but one of the requirements was that she had to do it on her own on a single bike. This course is 50 miles of gravel that crosses the Trail Creek Summit twice. Go, Katie, go! Tell all your adoring fans. Ow! Ow. (laughs) This ride starts at 6,500 feet of elevation. And for cyclists that ride at sea level, having less oxygen is never a good thing. Your lungs burn and your legs burn. And all you're doing is climbing. Hurt? So Katie is on a full rigid mountain bike and combine this setup with the rough washboard surface of these gravel roads, it produced a lot of pain in Katie's shoulder, and she's not even halfway done. We are here in really, not quite the middle of nowhere, but we're like- Fairly close. Fairly close. So I want proof that this is not all total total misery and everything. She actually laughed a second ago. <laughs> See, she's laughing now. Even she's smiling. So it's, Please, don't call DSS on me. It's a bike ride. It's supposed to hurt. So Katie is only 13 years old. And that's the impressive part. Because Katie is just staying on top of the pedals and making it happen. Even though she's in a lot of pain, she keeps suffering on. Good job, Katie. How are you feeling? Like absolute crap. Yeah. It was at this point that I started feeling really, really bad. My legs were really hurting from all the climbing, and my shoulder was hurting because of the washboards. Go, Kenny! Here we are at the top. And the altitude was just getting to me. I felt like I couldn't breathe. It just sucked. Katie left nothing in the tank. She gave it everything. The father and daughter team pushed on to the official timed finish. But they weren't quite finished yet. They still had to make it a few more miles back into town. Wow, Katie Hartman that just rolled through is only 13 years old and from Concord, North Carolina. 13 year old Katie just rolled through. Nice job, Katie. So Katie, we are so proud of you here at the Suffer Club. Thank you so much for inspiring us and showing us that you have a lot more than you think you have. Can't wait to see what's in the future for you. So if you're looking for a great gravel grinding course, check out Rebecca's Private Idaho. It definitely will not disappoint.